Bro, look that's at these clouds. Dude. What is what going is on? That? What is that? Okay. But look over there, there's a circle on that's uh, the Separated. actual cloud. Yeah. yeah. It's like a missing puzzle piece or something. What is going on here with these clouds? You've probably seen these photos online, right? A perfect, massive hole just punched clean through a layer of clouds. They look well, they look totally unreal. So today we're going to break down exactly what causes these beautiful and honestly kind of bizarre things, which are called fall streak holes. OK, let's get into it. And this quote from a viral post on X, it just nails the feeling, doesn't it? It perfectly captures that sense of mystery, like some invisible giant just came down and pushed the clouds aside. It's a fantastic image. But believe me, the actual science is even more fascinating. So that's the big question we're going to tackle. We're going to go from that, whoa, what is that feeling of mystery to a real aha moment of understanding what's happening thousands of feet above our heads. And the answer, well, it involves this incredibly delicate balancing act in the atmosphere that can be tipped by something surprisingly common. All right, so first things first, let's get the official names down. We call them false streak holes, but you might also hear sky punch clouds or hole punch clouds they usually pop up in those mid to high level clouds like Alta Cumulus, and they all need one very, very special ingredient to get started. It all comes down to this really weird and essential stuff, super cooled water. Just try to picture a cloud full of tiny water droplets that are actually colder than freezing, but they just haven't turned to ice yet. Why? Because they're missing a tiny particle, a nucleus, to kickstart that freezing process. This makes the whole cloud layer incredibly fragile in what scientists call a metastable state. Think of it like a soap bubble. It's stable for a moment, but it's ready to pop with the slightest touch. So now that we have our main ingredient, that super cold water, let's get to the actual recipe for making a sky punch. It's basically a super fast cascading chain reaction that happens when two different forms of water start competing inside the very same cloud. So in this atmospheric showdown, you've got our unstable liquid droplets on one side, and on the other, you've got solid, stable ice crystals. Now, because of a scientific principle, the wegener bergeron findison process, if you want to get technical, when both of these are near each other, the ice crystals always win. It's not even a fair fight. They are just way more efficient at grabbing water vapor from the air, so they grow bigger and bigger, while the liquid droplets all around them just start to evaporate into thin air. Okay, so here's how that whole chain reaction plays out, step by step. First, you've got that fragile cloud of super cooled water just hanging out. Then something comes along and disturbs it, introducing just a few ice crystals. That's the trigger, and immediately it's like dominoes. The chain reaction kicks off. Those 